Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. And today we're going to talk about input delay. And since I do know input delay is a huge issue for a lot of you guys out there, I'm going to share my personal secrets and special tricks how to deal with input delay the best way possible pretty much. And yeah, I'm going to show you some tricks, you know, you can walk your way a little bit around that since I do know a lot of people are struggling, especially when they're streaming Fortnite on the same PC, they're struggling a lot with input delay. And I know that personally from my experience, I tried out all kinds of stuff, like, I don't know, like a second streaming PC already, some different codecs, like for coding your stream, I don't know, this Envy codecs and all that shit, I tried it all out. And I personally found some tips which are the most useful, in my opinion, how to deal with input delay. And just a quick information right now, guys, some basic info knowledge. Every USB device, no matter if it's a webcam for, I don't know, your personal face cam, live on stream for a keyboard cam, a second monitor, a second keyboard you just simply plug into your PC for the RGB to shine and, I don't know, be like fancy somewhere in your room, all these devices do add input delay onto your PC because your gaming PC needs to work more, I don't know, there's like more pressure on your PC, on your gaming rig and therefore the workload is definitely higher and all this will cause more input delay than usual. So if you've got any USB devices or some devices on your PC, you can simply be attached, I don't know, for the time you're playing, you're streaming, whatsoever. Do that in the first place. And now let's continue with the actual tips and tricks. See you guys just in a second. And yeah guys, the first program I'm going to show you here today is called Timer Resolution and it's an awesome program. It's been used by many known pros such as Booga, Face Mongrel, Canada or even TFU back in the days. And what this program does is quite simple. No matter which device you're gonna plug into your PC, it's always gonna have this standard input delay of one millisecond. And this program pretty much just reduces your input delay to 0.5 milliseconds. So no matter what you do, it's double as fast. And yeah, this program is just really awesome. I'm gonna probably show you here how it works somewhere on the screen. And so yeah guys, after you've got timer resolution, pretty much all you need to do is open your CMD, run it as an administrator. And after you did that, let you just paste in the entire code. I'm gonna link you down in the video description and press enter. And after you did that, pretty much just right click on timer resolution, run it as an administrator, confirm, and then you're gonna put your current resolution on maximum. And as you can see, it's now on 0.500 milliseconds, which is pretty much 0.5 milliseconds. And now you're pretty much good to go. And yeah, guys, the next step is also fairly easy. Pretty much all you need to do is open your NVIDIA control panel. This will work for sure as well for AMD. I just don't know, it's like differently structured, I just guess. And then you're gonna go move over here to adjust image settings with preview and make sure you enable, use your preferred settings, which should be performance. It's probably gonna be somewhere here in the middle for you. These are like the stock settings, you know, like a good balance between performance and quality. And then you just drag it over to the left side. So it's selected performance and apply your settings. And then you're gonna move over to the next settings, which is called manage 3D settings. And pretty much all you need to do is replace any sort of um, comment where it says like power management mode, you know, it gives you some options like adaptive optimal power always make sure to select maximum performance wherever you got these settings i don't know like here uh, texture quality high performance so the textures are a little bit lower but you get the most fps and pretty much just copy all my settings right now here i'm giving you guys i'm going once again through it slowly so i can copy all of these settings if you've got g-sync definitely make sure to turn it on, or some people even say that G-Sync does not really work for them. You have to experiment with this one a little bit. For me, it helped definitely G-Sync. So make sure to turn that on. And yeah, then we're pretty much done here. Highest available, you know, all that shit here. Everything on max performance. And yeah, we're pretty much done here with this step. And yeah, guys, now let's move over to the final step, which is also really easy. Pretty much all you need to do is open your system properties, which I already did right now here. I'm going to leave you the exact path or way how to get here down in the video description. And then let's move over to advanced, which is the stock selected option here. And then you see performance and you're just going to click on the settings bar. And then as you can see, this new window popped out and it says performance options. And pretty much all you need to do is adjust for best performance. Your windows is not gonna look as fancy as before. And pretty much all I did was I just switched to the best performance mode and just enabled the two options I really need for editing videos, you know, like the small previous of like video files when you browse over them. And other than that, I don't need the other stuff. So I rather use the 
performance I gained for this actually for gaming to reduce my input delay, to higher my, up my FPS and all that stuff. And yeah, then you just simply hit apply and okay, and you're good to go. And with that said guys, this is the last step, pretty much. But yeah guys, here we are right now in game, and I promise I try to keep this as short and simple as possible. So we're gonna straight up go into the settings, and don't be worried here, um, I'm actually not playing on 4K, that's just because of stretch, I don't know, some visual bug there. And the first thing I would always recommend you to turn on is the performance mode. I know a lot of people hate it, a lot of people say they have no vision or whatsoever, but if you can get used to it, and I've got a special trick for you guys, if you actually want to use performance mode and it bothers you a lot how it looks, just simply turn your textures at least on medium or high, or it's gonna look way better. And yeah, I can understand that a lot of people, I don't know, it just looks like mobile and yeah, it's, it's, it's not the best for everyone, but definitely performance mode is the best thing you can do straight up out of the box, you know, in the game. And next up, you're gonna go into your settings and scroll all the way down until you find replays. Record replays, record large team replays and record creative mode replays. And definitely make sure to turn all of these off, guys. You don't need this anyways. I'm pretty sure most of you anyways, like clip all the kills with, I don't know, Nvidia, experience GeForce experience or AMD I don't know how it's called there <laughs> but anyways you don't need this at all guys this just puts workload onto your game onto your PC and it just reduces your FPS higher FPS mean a more responsible game so definitely make sure to turn this off and yeah guys this is it for today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and if it was helpful and if you've got any more questions feel free to drop them down below in the comment section I'm trying to answer as many people as possible and until next time, stay awesome, have a great day, and I'm out. Peace.